I've come to see. I heard Pastor Benny Hinn speak just recently, and I see he's also caught the vision that there are many people in the body of Christ who've made a decision. They come and make a decision, oh Jesus, come into my life. And the preacher prays with them, and they make a confession, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, come into my life. But they've never truly repented. They need to be so sorry about the way they live that they truly repent and turn their back upon sin. And there's a change of life. There's got to be a change. Must be a change. Need a total change of heart. You've never repented, so you cannot receive the Holy Spirit in His fullness. You want the supernatural experience. You want to begin to flow in the realm of the supernatural. You've got to begin with a place of repentance. You've never repented. Oh, you're a church person, yes. You're religious, yes. Open your Bible now and again and read it. But you've never really repented in that experience of the living Christ. You've never had an experience where you come face to face with Him. And He becomes real to you. He's very real. It's important that He becomes real to you. And then the door is open to receive the Holy Spirit. And what a difference the Holy Spirit makes in your life. I want you to know that. I know the difference he makes. I was only 15 when the Holy Spirit came upon me. And there have been periods in my life since then that I know that the Holy Spirit and his presence becomes and is very vitally real. If you don't get new oil in your engine of your car, It'll seize up. I don't know if you've ever had the experience of the car engine seizing up because the oil has lost its ability to really oil that engine. The scarcity is gone. And so it's important that the oil has to be changed. You've got to drain out that old oil and put in some new oil. There's got to be some new oil. Some of you become so creaky like an old hinge on a door and it creaks. It needs some oil. Complaining, finding fault. Ah, this is wrong. That's wrong. Ah, bah. You need some oil. You need some fresh oil. David was anointed with a whole horn of oil not just a little flask King Saul was just anointed with a little cruise of oil just a little flask of oil but David had a whole horn full of oil poured on his head and the oil flowed down over him you remember that day you remember that moment when you were baptized in the Holy Ghost I tell you I could never forget it it was so dynamic, so powerful, so real. How could I ever forget being baptized in the Holy Spirit? Could never forget it. It was absolutely sublime, absolutely glorious, absolutely wonderful. Hallelujah. I look back over this audience this morning and I see those who have been filled with the Holy Ghost and their lives were transformed from that moment forward. I look back there and I see Anne, Anne Wood. I remember a little hall where she ba was baptized in the Holy Ghost and her whole life was turned around. Her and her husband came out of the old apostle church. Old apostles, that they say, you know, when you see me, you see the Lord. Misguided. But thank God for the mighty baptism of the Holy Ghost. That experience is vital. That experience is powerful. Oh, hallelujah. He comes in mighty power. And of course, he's the sanctifier. 
Somebody says, oh, I don't worry about that. I believe it's important that we walk in love. I b- agree with you. But who's the one who sheds love abroad in your heart? Who's the one who's going to help you to live victoriously? Who's going to help you to live above sin? Who's going to help you to make the Word of God real to you? It's the Holy Spirit Himself. And so you need this vital experience. But you've got to enter in through the new birth. You've got to be born again first. That's why Peter said, repent. That's the first thing you've got to do. Repent. And whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call and be saved. It's not just another religious experience. Being saved is the real experience. Coming into fellowship with God through the new birth. And being born again. But then the Holy Spirit comes as our helper. Comes as our guide. Comes as the one who strengthens. Comes as the one who empowers us. Comes as the one who sanctifies. Comes as the one who strengthens us. Comes as the one to grant us vision. And cause the Bible to become a reality to us. Otherwise, it'll just be religion. And it'll just be form. And it'll just be, be something that's not real and vital in your life. It's so important.